What's up everyone? It's the new moon in Virgo in like 15 minutes. We're like right in the thick of it. And I pulled tarot cards for every astrological sign. This Virgo new moon is bringing a lot of good change. And we'll just go ahead. I was going to wait for some people to come in here, but uh, we'll go ahead and start. But how are y'all feeling? I know, I've been tired today. I have slept all day long. I think I just woke up like two hours ago. The new moon energy makes you really sluggish and really tired. Okay, Aries. You guys got the King of Pentacles. You guys are going to be entering a new high position after this new moon, or during this new moon. Um, Y'all have been patient, and this is finally paying off for you. And you guys can start looking and paying attention to the material aspect of your lives and you can ex also expect more money made from you know all your efforts you've been working at lately so that's good for aries taurus you guys got the lovers now this doesn't necessarily mean like you're gonna fall in love so don't get your hopes up about that but what i did conclude for you taurus is um this new mood's gonna this new moon is going to bring some sort of difficult choice that needs to be made between two paths. It's something you've been going back and forth on a lot in your mind and your heart. And you've been indecisive because you don't want to hurt anybody involved with this. But this new moon is going to test your values, okay? And it'll give you the right choice but only after what this new moon is going to teach you is how to accept yourself more and how to accept others for who they are more and this will ultimately help you make that decision and make the correct decision hey guys i don't know what the hell that was about facebook just like knocked me off so i don't know gemini's you got the moon so what i was saying was you're going to be a lot more psychic and a lot more um, intuitive, empathic. Your emotions are going to be heightened and you're going to fall more into your subconscious. If you've been ignoring that lately, it may seem like a problem at first, but it's really good because you're really just balancing, you know, what you're paying attention to and what you haven't been paying attention to. So the moon card is a really good card for you, Gemini. It's a good time to like refresh everything and make sure everything's balanced before you move forward. Cancers, y'all got a really cool card. Cancers got the Two of Cups. You're gonna meet somebody and you're gonna have an emotional exchange with this person. This could be like a partnership, maybe a re reuniting with the family member, but I'm going to say it's very likely like you'll meet somebody like romantic wise. Two of Cups, I mean, look at the card. If you can see it i know it's holographic it's two people meeting so cancers it's very likely you're going to meet i mean you are going to meet somebody and it just might be a romantic partnership leos we got like the best card we got the world this is completion this is reward we have worked really hard leos to obtain a life that we desire i know i have anyway and we deserve this reward and it's finally coming to us with this new moon energy it's going to bring us inner peace and it's kind of going to feel like a wish is being granted like by a genie or something this new moon is our genie leos this is the conclusion to a really long battle that's gonna just it's gonna feel so refreshing it's gonna feel like a dream coming true because that's what's happening our dreams are coming true our desires are coming true so far these cards are looking awesome ergos got the emperor you are going to be entering time of leadership authority you're going to be rising up kind of like the student becoming the teacher type of vibe and you're going to start having a lot more confidence and have this parental energy about you with everything you do and it's going to come with responsibilities but virgos are perfect with responsibilities so that shouldn't be a problem for you there might be a really big business opportunity as well that comes with that libra's got the will of fortune now libra's this new moon is going to bring you like a sudden stroke of good or bad luck whether it's bad or whether it's good it's based off what you've put out there what you put into the universe what you've manifested so i can't really say if libra's are going to have a really good next moon cycle or really bad it really just depends on the libra and where they've been putting their energy 
But if it's good, it's really good. There may even be some sort of um, endeavor, artistic or creative, what have you, whatever the Libra has been working on. No matter if you do get a stroke of good or bad luck with what you've manifested, this endeavor that you guys held on to, there will be a beneficial change in it, whether it's, okay, it's just not gonna work out, let's move on with something else, or this is gonna work out and I know what to do next. Scorpios. Scorpios, you got the Four of Swords. Now the Four of Swords is peace and order coming from a struggle and strife. You guys have been struggling really, really hard before this new moon energy. By the way, I think the new moon is like right now. If it's 8.52 central time, that's when it's hitting. So I don't, I can't tell the time right now. So Scorpios, this is gonna bring some quiet time for you so you can like re-examine and reorganize your life and the things important to you. This energy is just reminding you that the test that you've been through has really tested your body, mind, and spirit. And it's finally coming to a conclusion where it doesn't have to make you struggle so much. So Scorpios have some relief here. Sagittarius, you guys got the Two of Swords. Now Sagittarius, there's some decision like that y'all haven't been correctly making lately. And this new moon is going to bring that difficult decision to the surface and let you know it needs to be made and it needs to be made like yesterday. But it's gonna give you, you know, the strength of character to get out of this deadlock and affairs with other people because that's basically what the energy is. It's deadlock and affairs with the people around you and even yourself. So it's gonna bring you to a point where you feel all right about making the correct decision on this because it seems like you've already made the, the decision here but you didn't make the right one so you're going to kind of reevaluate that but after you make this good decision everything's going to work out everything's going to be successful after that so just a small bump in the road capricorns you got the eight of swords this is saying basically you've been in the cycle of misfortune capricorn and that's coming to an end. I'm loving all this energy of like bad things coming to an end. So yeah, the cycle of misfortune is coming to an end. The new moon's bringing you courage and patience to overcome this feeling of restriction you've been having, Capricorn. You'll slowly realize that your indecisions and your lack of confidence that you've had a lot lately all stemmed from your own emotional blindness. It all came from you. It was nobody else's fault. And once you can accept that, you can move forward. So this new moon really sounds to me like it's good for everybody. Aquarius, you got an interesting card. You got judgment. Now this is the Pluto card. This is the transformation card. This new moon's gonna make you feel self-critical. That Virgo energy is really gonna hit you and make you feel a little bit too analytical over your decisions, whatever those decisions were. And you've been living like people have expected, which doesn't sound like you, but you have. And it's not your own truth. You've got to step into your own truth. And that's exactly what this new moon is going to do for you. It's going to bring you into your new truth. So it'll clear the path ahead for you. Pisces. Pisces, y'all got a good card. This new moon is going to help you build your inner spiritual strength to better help you nurture, help and protect yourself, set boundaries. And not only for yourself, for the people you love, you'll also see some recognition for your past efforts that you've been making over the last month. With some sort of project or business you've been working on, that's finally going to be established and this project or business is ultimately going to benefit a lot of people in the future i think that was a really good new moon reading for everybody but how is everybody feeling on this new moon i'm all excited this is like when we manifest things i know everyone's probably feeling really tired right now but it's kind of like a trick of the universe that if you can get out of that grogginess and kind of manifest for the next month then you're gonna set intentions for the next month. And that's like, it's crazy because that's like when we're the most tired is during new moons when we don't feel like doing anything. But it's really important that you do get up and do something and figure out information about where you're heading and just work on yourself during new moons. You guys know you can contact me for readings um, through Messenger and I'll be more than happy. The personal full readings are $33. If you want an astrological uh, chart overview along with your reading, I think I might put that service back out there. 
and just add 10 extra dollars and then you'll get your 10 card reading and a astrology chart overview so that's 44 for that and 33 for you know the regular 10 card reading messages from your guides and thanks guys for joining me on this live and i'll talk to you later